is up everyone? Jordan and Lance here with another MJRL Hobby Stuff video. Today, real quick, really quick, Diecast Gundam guys. Let's check them out. All right, let's start with a Zaku, because uh, I'm a bad boy. I'd rather have a Zaku instead of a Gundam. But first thing I noticed, this thing is super heavy. Uh, is it made out of... Yeah, diecast metal, bro. Diecast metal? Yep. So if you load it into a cannon mm -hmm. and fire them at your enemies, you could murder them with Gundam. You can't travel with these on the plane, because the... Uh, the Let me uh, see. They're in their own little hyperbolic time chamber here. The metal the plastic. detector will go off, and they'd be like, Sorry, sir, you can't take your Zaku on the plane. Holy crap, like, you can use this as a fishing weight. <laughs> and you have like a cool like underwater scene where you'd be like, I don't believe in the Federation or whatever. But yeah, definitely sturdy, the details are great. Uh, look at how reinforced this box had to be because of the of the girth of this figure. Like, if we had just used this, this size box, well, it comes with a little ad. Oh, look how many different color schemes you have. Mm, I like this green. I would have went with the green. But anyway, uh, basically, if, imagine if you had this guy only in here, right? Too violent and shaky, and this guy comes <laughs> bursting out of the side of this box. <laughs> Char's revenge. Okay, so put that guy on the side. What is? These guys have so many vents. Sinanju. What is? Is it a Gundam? It is. Well, the bad guys are Gundam. Ah, oh, see, the bad guys just look better. That's what I'm saying. Look how many vents he has. It's hot. That's why. Oh, and oh. he's differently oh, packaged. I guess maybe he has extra figure pieces or something. Oh, well, he's tied in. Oh, oh, it looks like a noodle. It looks like a rice noodle. There's a, there's a knife. There's a knife? That's not a knife. Oh, he just fell out of it. Oh, look at this booster pack on him. Out of the way, bro. Oof. And look at the size of the... The... <laughs> the... The protector here. Yeah. The 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 cod piece, if you would. <laughs> this guy is really definitely has some extra weaponry stored away. I mean, that's where the horsepower is right here. <laughs> oh, horsepower. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This thing. Put this guy on top of your Christmas tree. I mean this Aku just has such a great design. Basic, the one menacing eye, the scuba diver rebreather. Uh, the shoulder shield and um, the little... I, I'm assuming that this is in... Like, you know, when you watch the show, you're like, of course those are German-European guys, right? Uh, who piloted the Zaku. So this is probably like a... You know, World War One helmets, the Empire of Germany had those little uh, hot dog roasters on the top of their helmets. So I think that has something to do with it. No. Totally. Oh, yeah. Zero articulation. Mm, that does suck. I mean, it'd be cool if they had made the arms move at least. I mean, you know, leg. I, you know, I, I, I kind of want to figure out like at least the five POA points of articulation, so you know their arms can move and their, uh, their legs swivel and the head moves. That's what you know the basic like Star Wars movement. Mm -hmm. You don't have to get nuts like Marvel Legends crazy. Although that's pretty rad too. It's nice to have, you know, uh, multiple joints. Okay, so these guys are rad. Um, other than that, you know, uh, please follow me on Instagram at Hawaii Toy Box. Uh, please like and share this video, and please support me and Jay and uh, our other two buddies, Matt and Ryan, who are no longer who aren't in videos right now, uh, as we try to grow our channel. All right. Uh, again, aloha from Kaneohe, and have a good day.